what is going on everybody it's TGA uh, we're coming up to the Monmouthshire County Council County Hall and register office as well got the uh, spy glasses on today see what's going on up here because apparently they've got a little garden as well I don't know where the footpath is because there's a footpath there College is part of this as well, call it Gwent. So we're just outside of Esk, we've been to Esk a few times. We never done a few council buildings in the past. I'm trying stuff unmasked now as well. I think they've got a learner driver, so there's a footpath there. The States and Facilities Department down there. And you've got footpaths this way. How do you actually get to the main building? Over there, is it? Let's have a little wander over. There's a footpath here. Hey Jack, you got to walk on the bleeding road to get in, yeah? Oh, there's a footpath. Oh, that's not a footpath, that's a drive. It's not very accessible for people walking, is it? Especially how far out it is. It's in a, further out from a town in the middle of the sticks. I think Abergavenny or Monmouth would be more suitable. So I think that's because of the colour scheme, that's part of the college. But there. So there's the main building for Monmouth Council. I think that's where they have events and functions in that bit. See, so it's a public building. Got the Ukraine flag there, look. As they do, obviously, because of the war and everything. Quite a nice area though. Cafe. Never knew they had a cafe in here. You wouldn't, would you? Welcome to County Hall. So I've been recommended by a couple of subscribers to come visit here. So why not? It's not far for me to come. So where's the hours on you? Opening oh, hours. It's the public area, obviously. Stay wherever it's public. This the public area. It's a bit too dark with those on. Isn't oh. So this is a public area. Stay wherever's public. Let's have a look at the little artwork they got on the wall. It's Mummish Council. Nice little area right here, you've got some public information on the wall there. Huh. Some planning, planning notices. Audit Wales regulations. Huh. What's that? Hackney taxis. Hackney carriages, taxis. Taxi fares. Oh, Clayton, welcome. Stay in the public area, obviously. Look at that. That's beautiful, that is. What's that all about? Oh, hello. No, I'm okay, I'm just having a look around. My dream. Am I from from Wales? Right. Okay. Hi. Right. Mm, got counter terrorism awareness information. Confirm the item is suspicious. Clear the immediate area. Inform security and police. Salute. 
HTF run hide tell follow. <laughs> yeah, is it deliberately hidden? Look. It's the item obviously suspicious. Is it deliberately hidden? Covert so covert activity rather than overt. That's what I mean. A lot of parcels just lying around in the main main lobby, mate. Hello. I just said I'm from Wales. What do you mean? Because you're, ca you're fil filming? Yeah, I'm filming, yeah. Are you a member of the public? Or? I am, yes, I am a member of the public. Yeah. What's the purpose of you filming? Just for my interest. It's a public building. I just want to have a little look around. That's all. Public information. Right. Okay. Have a look at these little charts on the wall, yeah. Huh. Got some little graphs and things over there as well, look. I think all that's for the college. Some of that because the college is literally right next to this building. So I think we're going to leave the main building in a minute. We're going to take the drone in the air, do some aerial videos. It's a nice day, might as well make the most of it. There we go, they've got a thing there to support the armed forces in Wales and a few leaflets over there, but obviously this is a past the security barriers, so we can't go beyond this area. But where we are stood now, we're in a public area, so absolutely fine by here. Don't go past any barriers or go anywhere we shouldn't go. Stay where we're allowed. There's a few people coming in now, so we're just gonna, not out and out trying to film people, we're just filming what information's on display. Keep the camera out there, wait a minute. I'm not gonna purposely film them. Obviously, we'll point it over here in a minute. There we are. They're going that way, so we can carry on filming the leaflets over there. There we are. It's a nice little sitting area out right there, so we're just going to have a little walk around the side. Now, we've seen enough of what we can see in this area. Now, we're going to have a little walk around, little walk around the site. Oh, put, this, put the sunglasses back on. There we go. Let's have a look across down this way. It's all public right to way down here. Yeah? We'll see when we're going to get a drone up in a minute. That's what I was going to let them know. Once I've had my little wander, I'm going to tell them I'm going to be taking a drone in the air just to get some aerial shots. Not sure whether this is part of the um, council or part of the college. We're not out now trying to film the college. It's not our interest. I sounded really Welsh when I said college. So. Sounded so Welsh. Oh, that's not good. See, this is the problem. This is the council's building, right? You walk past these windows, and you can see personal data on display through the windows. That's why I'm pointing my camera away at the minute. And I, I'm everywhere, so you, but you can see there's personal, personal data on display. That's, that's something I wanted to highlight, because I can see through these windows, I can see what's on your screen, so I think I might just report that to reception, just so I can put some blinds up or something, okay? Breach of GDPR. If not, I will report it to the Information Commissioner's office. <laughs> Didn't take me long. Had a quick walk around the site and I see personal information on display. Absolutely crazy. Hey, sorry to bother you, but um, the windows just all around, all around the site here, you could see personal information on the computers. 
And that's if there's people or members of the public coming round, they can see that information. That's a breach of GDPR. So if you don't, I would prefer it if you did something about it rather than me having to report it to the information commissioner. So all around this, this main building here. So I wasn't filming any information. I was making sure that my camera was away from that, but I'm just making sure Monmouthshire Council's doing everything it should be. Um, I'm doing an audit, independent, not part of any organisation. I'm just double checking that everything's doing it, being done how it should be by Monmouthshire Council. Yeah, I, obviously, I, if I do find anything, I report it to the relevant authorities. So either to the heads of Monmouth Council or to the Information Commissioner, if I find any breaches of GDPR. I mean, I would prefer if, if you deal with it yourselves, like put some blinds up or something to create the privacy, but there are screens there facing towards the windows. And if people are walking past, they can, could see people's personal information, people's names and addresses. They could see, they could see council documents that people should, that members of the public shouldn't be seeing. Okay, so if, if you take that on board, that'd be fantastic. And uh, all the best, all right? There we are. It's still being, uh, it's, it's still on show. There's still information on show. I literally come in and told them what I'm doing. I told them I'm doing an audit. I'm just going to have a walk all the way around. Again, I'm not sure where the last council, but there's information on display again. But again, information on display. I've informed the front office of the breaches of GDPR. I've informed the front office of the breaches of GDPR. It's open to the public, isn't it? These paths. The public can come here. Yeah, but the public can come in here. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing an ins Pinnock inspection. That's what I'm doing at the minute. I'm doing a Pinnock inspection, right? I'm part of Pinnock. The register office up here. Now this has people's marriage certificates and things like that in these sort of buildings. So let's hope that they're not leaving anything on display through the windows. But if you could stand though, quite a reasonable distance away from the windows, where I'm stood now, still at least a couple of meters from the windows. So they've got their opening hours on there. Look, as you can see, got in Welsh and English. So you got 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., then 1.30 till 4.30. 9 till 1 and 1.30 till 4 on a Friday. So Monday to Thursday and then Friday. And I can't see any information on display there. It's fantastic. So I believe that's the college there. So we're going to avoid that side. We're going to walk back around this way. So that's College Gwent, so we're not interested in that side. Not interested in the college, we're interested in the council. There's all footpaths all around here, look. See if we can see if there's any more breaches of GDPR at this building. But the best, like, they, all they could do is, all they need to do is move the computer screens away from the windows. So if people are walking past, or at least tint the, tint the glass so you can't see what's, what's inside. You know what I mean? That's all they need to do, tint, tint the glass or move the computer screens away. And then that information is not on display to the public. But every time, I've seen so many different councils across the country. I mean, Newport actually are all right, they tint the glass. Newport City Council, Cardiff, they got think, private things going on on display. Uh, I've seen Swansea were doing the same in uh, Yaki Dai's video. Personal data on display. Areas that the public can go. Which is kind of shocking, to be honest, isn't it? If I can see that through a pair of sunglasses, if I, I, I can see clearer with that. 
my vision's tinted and yet I can still see this information from a pair of sunglasses. Monmouthshire well, County Hall. So we're going to go, go get a drone up, folks. See what this cafe's offering. Just a cold, nice cold drink. It'd be nice, a nice tea or something like that. It's nice to go to cafe for the public, yeah. A few public access points over there, look. We've got a wall memorial. So you come out, you come out unmasked, and yet you still get people telling you you shouldn't be filming and things like that. And I'm just highlighting the issues, that's all I'm doing. I'm coming down to a public, public building in my local area public building in my local area, I'm highlighting issues and yet you still get people telling you you shouldn't be filming and stuff like that. There's the cafe, is it open? What's the hours on the cafe? Let's go and have a look. They've got a drinks machine here. Do they accept uh, card payments? Cash on card, that'd be... There needs to be flexibility for both, I think. Hello. How are you doing? So I... I'm, I'm going to be coming, coming back, back at some, some point, point just to check the, the, that the changes with in regards to the GDPR breaches have been corrected because obviously I came in just to report that there have been any, because there's computer screens in there, the public obviously walk around here, there's people from the college who walk around here and they can see information, people's personal data and things like that through those windows. I, I've had sunglasses on out there and I, I have to, I'm at least about three metres away from the window and I can see like names and things on the computers. Obviously I haven't recorded any of that. But if, if, it, if I do see it, I might have to just get it just so I can send it to the Information Commissioner if, if, if nothing's going to be done. Okay. And I'm also going to let you know, just so I can have a look, I'm going to go a fair distance away, but I'm going to take a drone in the air just so I can have an aerial view of the site. Just so I can check for any for like solar panels, anything for renewable energy, things like that, okay? What's the check for, sorry? It's a PINAC inspection. That's, that's all it is. All right, all right, thank you very much. So we're going to come off the site now, obviously. Um, and then we're going to take some aerial shots of the site just to do some double check on the roof, the safety of the roof. Um, of any, there is solar panels up there just to check if the, if the roofs, if there's no health and safety risks on the roof uh, and double check whether they've got all the, whether they're compliant with renewable energy, uh, which they seem to be, with all due respect. Uh, the council seem to be in uh, in compliant with that sort of area. So you can walk back out to the street this way. So coming back out the site now. So back out on the main road. We head back down by uh, where we started. End off our video. <coughs> so yeah, that's um. Moments of council, we are going to take the drone up now, uh, get some aerial shots. So I have to thank you everybody for watching. Um, if, so if I will return to this site at some point, because I'm not that far from it, let's be fair, and I will uh, double check whether the corrections have been made in regards to the GDPR issues. But uh, 
the council building, the com uh, computer screens being on display for members of the public, college students, things like that, who, can, who shouldn't be able to see that information. So thank you everybody for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you all on the next one. TGA out. What a mess. I honestly don't care anymore, to be honest. What am I worried about? Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. There's the council down there, look. The view is a lot clearer when I'm wearing sunglasses, to be honest. There's solar panels on the roof, doesn't seem to be any issues with the roof at all. No damages, quite a lot of solar panels look. Quite compliant. There we Landing.